What is up, guys? It's Kesmir, and I'm back with The Walking Dead. Just figured we'd talk about the game just a little bit before we get into today's episode. I'm honestly not happy with a lot of my decisions. Everything that went on with uh, Lily and, and Larry and all that stuff, all the, like, I'd give them food and for, like, peace offerings, stuff like that. It's just, it's it feels like it was all just a huge waste. And I, I feel like I should have just invested a lot of my choices into helping out Kenny because where we're at now, we're just all we got left is Kenny. <laughs> and it just it just kind of stinks and everything like that. But I guess we got to live with the choices we've made. You know, I was, I was really hoping something was going to happen with Lily because I kind of really liked, you know, Lily and Lee and stuff like that, even though, you know, Lily's dad was really a jerk. But I don't know. Rip Larry. Um, just wanted to get out, that off my chest that I'm not exactly happy with the choices we've made. Should be interesting with Kenny hating us to the core. <laughs> Anyways, let's get right into it, guys. For a little while, we're getting real close to where my mom and dad are. Maybe I can... Not now. I need you to focus. Keep your attention on the street. Okay. Sorry. How's Omid? His leg's pretty bad. I'm fine. You're not fine. You need to rest. He needs to rest. Kenny, how much farther to the riverfront? There should be just a few more blocks up ahead. And there'll be boats there? Sure as hell better be. There'll be boats. Have to be. Have to be. It's going to be okay. Kenny knows what he's doing. What the hell? Maybe this city's not so dead after all. Keep moving. No one's ringing that bell. It's automatic. On a timer. What kind of church bell goes off at 20 past the hour? <laughs> Someone's up there! Are you sure? I don't see anything. I know what I saw. I'm telling you there's someone up in that bell tower. Someone alive! If I were you, I'd get out of the street now. I thought you said that thing didn't work. Who is this? Is that you up in the bell tower? Yeah, we better get off the street. What the hell was that? Is someone trying to fuck with us? Sounded more like a warning. Ask not for whom the bell tolls. What are you yammering on about? It tolls for thee. Beautiful. Trusty shovel. Uh oh, it's Kenny. Kenny. Little too close, don't you think? No, Ben, help her. Oh, 
Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see that? Oh gosh. Uh oh. Good, the old guy got her. That Ben Move dude. Your asses. River Street's right up ahead. That's not all. Oh, give me a fucking break. Wait, where the hell's Chuck? Oh no, Chuck! Shit, he's in trouble. We gotta help him. There's no time. We gotta go now. I'll be fine. Just go. Oh no, Chuck! <laughs> All the people I like are dying. Now we're stuck with this Ben kid who can't do anything right. Clean him up. Kenny, how's that door coming? I'm working on it. I'm working on it. We'll work faster, would you? Won't be long before those things outside figure out where we went. You know they can smell blood. Lady, I ain't the one who's bleeding. Quit it, the pair of you. Gonna bring more of them down on us. I'll see if I can find a way in. Yeah, just stop. Dead people saw us come back here? Are they going to find us? I can still hear them out there. It sounds like they're getting closer. It's just your imagination. I'll feel safer when we're inside the house. How's he looking? I'm all right. You're not all right. You've reopened your wound, you're losing blood, and God only knows what might have gotten in there. It could be infected, it could be... No offense, but you really need to work on your bedside manner. She's just worried about you, man. Don't worry. We're gonna get you fixed up in no time. Just as soon as we're inside, okay? Okay. Thanks, man. Please go and help Kenny. We need to get him inside now. I'm on it. Just sit tight. Oh, hey, calm down. I'm not going anywhere. Calm down, Krista. Must have belonged to someone. Just a doghouse. There's like two circles there, but I can only highlight one on the grave. Somebody lost their pet. Poor Sparky. The shovel is never not useful. Never not useful. Oh, yeah, Ben. Yeah, let's not bash the windows. Ben. About what happened back there on the street. I know. I don't know what happened. I just froze up. Hasn't that ever happened to you? Just hear what I'm saying to you. You put that girl in danger again. It won't be walkers you have to worry about. I hear you. Think we can get in through one of these windows? Man, I don't think so. Whoever owned this place had them all barred up. Yeah, looks pretty solid. How do you think Kenny's holding up? I don't know. It's it's like all he can think about is finding a boat. 
He definitely doesn't want to talk about Katya and Duck, at least not with me. Maybe we should just let him deal with it in his own way. I'm gonna go check things out. All right. Good old Ben. Hey, how you holding up, man? Lee, I appreciate the interest, but I don't think talking about my feelings right now is gonna help us get inside this house. You think maybe someone's still inside? Nah, we'd have heard from him by now, all the racket we're making. But whoever was here did a pretty good job fortifying it. Nice place to hole up. We could just figure out how to get in. Even the second floor. How's it coming? Find a way in yet? Door's locked up tight. Too heavy to force it without making a whole lot of noise. Maybe there's a better way in. Well, if there is, I ain't seeing it. Maybe you should have a look around. See what you can find. What about the doggy door? What's this? Looks like there's some kind of pet door here. I tried it already. That's locked too. Who the hell ever heard of a locked doggy door? I have. My neighbor had one just like that. It's, it's radio controlled. The dog wears a collar with a chip in it, so the door only opens when the dog gets close to it. Well, shit. Every day's a school day. All right, so dig up the, the dog? dog. Right there. Oh, Sparky's gonna help us, guys. Hey, be careful. Digging up dead things isn't what it used to be, you know what I mean? Yeah, I hear you. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be weird. What's buried down there? Sparky. Nothing. Clem, go over and sit with Krista and Obi, okay? But I want to... Just do what I say, okay? Oh. I shouldn't have said that. Oh god, the smell. <clears throat> Can't get it off. Okay, that is not cool. Are you okay? I'm fine, honey. It's just the smell. Are you sure? You just reverse fine, eating. Okay. I don't need that anymore. I'm done digging up dead dogs for today. For today. Can I apologize? I'm sorry, Clem. Will we be inside soon? Yeah. Not much longer now. I hope so. It's getting cold out here. Here goes nothing. Yes! God damn! You see anything in there? No. Looks like it's been empty a while. Whatever you're gonna do, do it fast. Okay, let me see if I can reach up in there. Be careful, man. <clears throat> it's no good, I can't get it. Here, let me try. I think I can... Clem, what do you see in there? Clem, but don't go shooting off like that without asking first, okay? I was just trying to help. I know, and you did good. You just had me worried there for a minute. Can we maybe have this conversation inside? My leg's starting to hurt like hell. Looks okay from here. Everybody in.
Good job, Clem. It's okay. I'm good. Feel better already just being off my feet. Thanks, babe. So, when were you gonna tell us about the radio? Tell you what? That it's working. That there's someone else on the other end of that thing. You didn't think that might have been worth sharing with the rest of us? I was gonna tell you. Kenny and I only found out yesterday. So both of you were keeping it from the rest of us. Great. Who gives a shit about the damn radio? I'm more worried about whoever it was out there ringing that bell and bringing the dead down on top of us. It's like they didn't want us to make it to the river. What makes you think it's not the same person? Whoever was on the radio was close enough to see us in the street, and we didn't see anyone else other than the guy in the bell tower. Because that doesn't make a lick of damn sense. Why would they bring out the dead like that and then try to warn us about it? How much sense does anything make anymore? In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of twisted folks out there these days. At least the dead don't play games with you. Whoever that was on the radio, I think they were trying to help us. They did warn us, didn't they? Maybe you're right. But whoever it was, they're watching us, following us, and they don't want us to know who they are. I can't think of any explanation for that that would make me feel better. Can you? We need to make sure Chuck is okay. Once it's quieted down outside, we'll all head towards the river. See if we can find him. Deal? Suit yourselves, and I'm not gonna wait around too long for someone else to grab up those boats. That's our ticket out of here. Place seems secure, at least. I'll feel better when we know that for sure. We need to check the whole house. <sighs> All right, fine. You and me will take the upstairs. Lee, you've got down here. Make sure you check every door, understand? Okay. Is there anything I can do? Thanks, I got it. Hang out with Chris to know me until I get back, okay? Lee, I'm sorry. What for? Going through the door like that without checking first? I guess that was pretty dumb, huh? Just ask me first the next time you're gonna outsmart all the grown-ups, okay? Okay. Okay. Nothing. Water's off. Surprise, surprise. No power. <laughs> well, that surprises you? I mean, <laughs> been without power for three months. Or more. All cleaned out. So somebody ate everything here. Why am I taking this? Let's look at it first. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. I'm not that hungry. Besides, I need to finish checking the downstairs. No dog food till you check the downstairs. Must have stopped working a while ago. Whoever cleared this place out left behind two bottles of whiskey. Looks like someone didn't have their priorities straight. How's it coming? Or maybe they did. Looks expensive. And heavy. Doubt any looters would be able to haul that thing too far. Hmm. 
Nothing hiding in here. It's just a potty. Not exactly my style. Is that Sparky? It's a closet. All clear in here. Just one more to check. So it, it looks like they hardcore boarded up the back windows. But the front windows, they just threw a couple little boards on. Like, why? W and the backyard's freaking got a brick fence. Wouldn't you want, like, all the, the plywood on the front windows? Jesus! Oof. What? What happened? It's nothing. Just uh, nothing. The mop almost got us, guys. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, for now. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? Uh, just dog food. And there's some whiskey in the back. You said to clean the leg. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? Calm down. I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. It's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Rot roll. Kenny? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. Wow. Kinda looks like duck, don't he? It's just a kid. What the hell happened to him? Ain't nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. I can't ask you to do this, man. I'll take care of it, like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. So that's probably why the place is all cleaned out. This must have been where he slept. What a way to live. What a way to die. Just ran out of food, like we almost did. Like we still might. All empty. 
He probably died of dehydration before he starved. Damn. Poor kid. Must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. Oh, this could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. Is there anything else up here? should bury him. I'll take care of it. Man, that's heavy. <laughs> Yeah, just look at this backyard. All the back windows are fully boarded up and plywooded up. And then they got a freaking brick fence. And all they do is tuck a couple 2x4s on the front. Who's that? Who are you? What the hell do you want from us? Lee, what's going on? I saw someone standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? It was I'm a man. wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. Kenny? I'm fine. I just... I'm fine. What's all the ruckus? Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. 
Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. We only check the house to make sure it's secure. We didn't really toss the place. We're low on food, water, meds, ammo. We should make sure there's nothing here we can use before we move out. Well, you search it if you want to. I'm done with this house. We came to this city to find a boat, and that's just what I'm gonna do. Maybe it's not such a bad idea to check the place I more... said I'm done with this house! We can do both. Ben, you take one last look around the place. Grab anything that looks useful, while me and Kenny go down to the river to get us a boat. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. We will. But right now, we all need to focus on finding a boat. But what about what you promised? You said it was going to be just you and me. I know I did, Sweet Pea. I haven't forgotten. But Savannah's more dangerous than I thought it would be. We all need to stick together as a group. Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? <laughs> you're worthless! That's not how it is, Ben. I need you to stay here and keep an eye on Clementine. I can do that. Well, just so we're clear. While I'm gone, anything or anyone tries to get inside this house, you shoot them. Don't even think twice about it. Understand? I got no problem shooting walkers. Did you hear what I said? Anything or anyone? Good. Time and time again, he's proven to be worthless. Then he gets upset when you give him menial task. <laughs> like, come on, dude. Alright guys, we're going to end this one here, so like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Kazmir out.